So Jonathan Mingo of all wide receivers is the first wide receiver off the board in the second round. And I'm making the confused face because I really don't know what to say. I thought the buzz was not real around Mingo. Um, Look, I mean, they're NFL, they're an NFL front office, so clearly they're going to know what they're talking about. However, I didn't even watch film on Mingo. He wasn't even on my radar. Nathan has a good rundown on Mingo and probably some pretty hot takes, but I just don't understand. I, I don't know. Go. This is this Go. is a combine pick. This is 100% a combine pick. According to Player Profiler, his athleticism score is 110.2. His 2023 wide receiver class rank was number two overall. He's 6'1", 226, 32-inch arm length. All great. He ran a 4'4", 40-yard dash at the, at the combine. Whatever. You, you know, who cares? His production at Ole Miss, he did not do crap until his senior year this past year. 51 reception on 92 targets, 861 yards, a 24% target share, 55% catch rate, five receiving touchdowns, and at, at 21 years old. Before that, he had 346 yards, 337, 379 yards, 172 receiving yards. This is not just a production thing for me. Okay, I, I'm going to try to be as respectful as I can to the Carolina Panthers because I oh, don't know what nice. I'm talking about. Draft capital is king. However, I will put a qualifier to that because we always do with certain players in certain situations. Jonathan Mingo is not going to be a dominant fantasy player wide receiver he he just isn't he's going to be a he he's a fast he's very fast he he's a fast guy if you watch this film outside of that his vertical speed outside of his vertical speed after the catch he doesn't do crap he's a bad wide receiver he is his route running is subpar his elusiveness is subpar in my opinion in my personal opinion i didn't watch just his highlights i actually watched like full game film i've heard from he's, I've heard he's good with the ball uh, in his hands sure sure he can uh, so basically what he does after the ball is in his hands is he makes one move and then he runs in a straight line and he outruns everybody hey i mean he did with well, four four six he, speed it's not generational speed look i i will say this he he is obviously he's going to be pushed up draft boards in dynasty rookie drafts because of this draft capital as he should i did not expect this to happen however i do have a prediction i think that this is um because of the combine performance and because of him just being pushed up draft boards i think because of this i think this is a james cook pick i think he is going to be this year's james cook in the second round i think he's going to be that disappointing i think he'll maintain his value because wide receivers almost always rookie wide receivers almost always maintain their value going into their sophomore season. And there's no one else there. I, I, I mean, not, I don't want to short Adam Thielen and DJ Chark, but I mean, long-term they're not long-term answers, long-term options. Adam Thielen, I would assume will be the focal point in that offense from a passing game perspective for Bryce young. And then they'll really try to bring up Jonathan Mingo, but he is not a wide receiver one in an offense guys. He's not. So don't pay hefty prices for him just because there's not really much else in Carolina. Yeah. There's my rant. Wow. I you know more about him than I do, so I'm gonna trust you on that one. And look, um, we are we are admitting we we are not NFL scouts. Uh we're gonna default to the draft capital. However, we've seen second round receivers. Tyquan Thornton went last year in his example. He hasn't done very much yet. Obviously, he's not, not from a bust a, yet. Yes, and not from a fantasy perspective. So this is what I want to say about the Carolina Panthers. I am not crapping them for their pick per se. I'm not even crapping the Buffalo Bills for taking James Cook last year. I think he could still be a really great asset for that team, just like Jonathan Mingo could for the Carolina Panthers. This is from a fantasy football perspective. Yes. If you go onto this channel or any other channel on YouTube and you start Start crapping on Bill Belichick for drafting Tyquan Thornton in the second round. Who do you think you are? He has six Super Bowls in his pocket. He can pick whoever the heck he wants in the second round. And you know what? Tyquan Thor Thornton is a very, very good weapon in that offense. And I don't know what they're going to do in the draft this year, but they could absolutely build off that. And Thornton could be a very effective, uh, continually an effective weapon and really grow as a pass catcher in that offense. We don't know. Belichick picked him in the second round for the re for a reason. The Carolina Panthers, who don't have much draft capital left for the foreseeable future, picked Jonathan Mingo in the second round for a reason. From a fantasy football perspective, they didn't they did not draft him to score fantasy points. All right. So in terms of how many points, we don't know. In terms of where we're ranking him, not super high yet, but we don't know. We will caution you on this. Here's the strategy part of this whole entire thing. You do not have to reach on Jonathan Mingo in your in your rookie drafts. Do not. There are going to be wide receivers that go off the board in the next 
45 minutes here that are going to be better fantasy wide receivers than Jonathan Mingo. Yes. He's going to be a sexy pick because he went to the Carolina Panthers and he's playing with Bryce Young and he isn't going to have a lot of competition there. However, again, you don't have to reach for him in rookie drafts that are going to be safer prospects. For example, Josh Downs, hopefully if he gets the draft Yeah, title. Jalen Hyatt. So Jalen Hyatt is going to be a guy, obviously, who hasn't gone off the board yet. Jonathan Mingo went ahead of him. Wherever Jalen Hyatt goes, within reason, I'm 100% taking him over Jonathan Mingo all day. And again, we aren't claiming to know it all, and we wish the best to Jonathan Mingo as a player. Hope he does well. Yeah, he could be a just, great asset for that That's our team. two cents on that, and mostly Nathan's two cents. But all right, like and subscribe <laughs> if you – you know, it was really yeah. good. You did, it was, yeah. you did very well. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate that. We just got another one off the board, another tight end with Luke Musgrave. Just the like Packers. that, man. Just that's like quick. That. So we're coming back here in just a minute. All right, we'll see you in a few.